Welcome to this how-to video brought to you by Salesforce Support. In this video, we'll discuss reports and dashboards used to evaluate your sales engagement activity and performance. We'll walk through the benefits of reporting on sales engagement. Key terminology, how to use sales engagement reports and dashboards, out-of-the-box reports, and tips for using dashboards and resources for further learning. A lot of factors go into an effective sales process, so it's important to identify what is and isn't working in that process. This can be done through sales engagement reports and dashboards. They can help with visibility on the buyer journey, allowing your organization to understand the activity and engagement cadence from the point of view of the buyer. Understanding prospect behavior and engagement to measure cadence, email template, and call script effectiveness. Measuring outcomes and return on investment, allowing you to tie together the impact of cadences to the impacted opportunity value. Viewing cadence disposition, call results, and email engagements, which provides cadence creators essential information on what to drop and what to add more of for outreaches. And providing insights for coaching and enablement to support and mature your sales teams. In addition to standard sales cloud objects, sales engagement introduces several new concepts and objects. Understanding these terms is key to reporting and will help you with interpreting and analyzing sales engagement reports and dashboards. Target is the lead contact or person account that is added to a cadence. Cadence is the sales flow built by your cadence builders. Cadence step is each step in a cadence. Each one has its own record and defining fields, such as step name, step type, and step comments. Cadence tracker is an instance of a target running through a cadence. The tracker notes when the target enters a cadence and the outcome. The cadence tracker record is created when the target enters a cadence. Cadence step tracker is related to the cadence tracker. It follows what step the target is on and the steps that have been completed. The only data exposed for standard reporting are the last completed step and current step. The data can also be queried. Now that we've reviewed the benefits and key terms for sales engagement reporting, let's see it in action. Let's take a look at where to find out-of-the-box reports and dashboards and how to customize a report. It's Monday morning. A sales manager wants to review how the sales engagement tool is doing so far. She logs into the sales engagement app in Salesforce. From here, the sales manager navigates to dashboards and selects the sales engagement sample dashboard. This dashboard provides her with high level updates on the performance of her cadences and activity across her organization. Seeing there are 10 contacts currently in a cadence at this time, the sales manager decides to click into the report to get more information. This is going to tell her who those contacts are, the account they're associated with, the cadences they're in, and their last completed step. The sales manager wants to see more information on how the contacts are progressing in each cadence, so she's going to edit the report to add more details. She opens the fields pane to see all the fields that are available to add to this cadence. She sees information about the contact in the cadence tracker. From the fields pane, she adds the cadence assignee. That's the user assigned to completing this cadence. She adds the state and then current cadence step name. She reviews the report to make sure all the right fields are in there. Next, she's careful to use Save As to create a copy of this report and preserve the original one. She clicks Save. Then Save and Run. and now she can see the new version of the report. Sales engagement comes with a number of custom report types you can use as a template for your own reports. You can find sample reports based on these report types in the sample sales reports folder, or you can use these report types or templates to create brand new reports in the report tab. Let's dive into some of the reports that have already been created for you. There are four main types of reports that come pre-configured with sales engagement each with its own subset of reports, which you can view in your org. Cadence outcomes reports are great for identifying cadence outcomes and return on investment for sales leaders and sales operations. They focus on leads and their progress through a cadence. Asset engagement reports help measure cadence engagement and email success, focusing on cadence assets such as email templates and call scripts. They are ideal for sales leaders and sales operations. Seller and seller engagement reports give insight into enablement and coaching efforts, as well as visibility into the buyer journey. They can be used for sales reps and sales leaders and help understand rep performance and engagement in the sales process. 
Buyer and buyer engagement reports can also give insight into enablement and coaching efforts, as well as visibility into the buyer journey. These reports are useful for sales leaders and sales operations to understand lead and contact engagement throughout the sales process. To wrap up, let's review some best practices and resources for sales engagement. When it comes to working with sales engagement reports and dashboards, remember the following tips. Sales engagement includes several purpose-built, out-of-the-box reports. You should always start there. If you can't find what you're looking for, ask your administrator to create custom report types, such as linking cadence trackers with leads, contacts, accounts, and custom objects. Always store reports that feed into sales engagement dashboards in a separate folder, where they cannot be edited by dashboard users. Any changes to underlying reports can cause the dashboard to stop working or display incorrect data. When modifications are needed to help, clone reports in a separate folder and then modify. To learn more, be sure to check out our other videos. You can also search for topics in Salesforce Help or come join us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.